Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. So what we're going to be going over in this video is a procedure on how to reset the base idle on your Evo 456 using the Evo Scan program. So this may come in handy if you swap out throttle bodies or if you change something on the throttle body, um, be it the idle air control valve or the throttle position sensor, or you take the throttle body apart, uh, change some O-rings in it, clean it, and put it back together, and then your idle is all over the place, or very high idle. So we're just gonna go over a simple procedure today to uh, reset that idle, and uh, yeah, so let's get right to it. Hey guys, today I'm gonna go through setting up your base idle on your Evo 456. So here I have my Evo 6 back here. Now to do this properly, you'll need a few things. So just cruising over here, uh, you will need Evo Scan, and you will need to be a little bit familiar with Evo Scan, not totally familiar. Um, right now I have it set up as the open port 2.0 mode, the Mitsubishi Mutt 3, is checked off. Um, I'm on the EFI screen and over on this side here um, what you're gonna need to do is be familiar with the bottom button down here which is actuators. So so one thing you'll need on here is the throttle position displayed as well you'll need it displayed in volts. Uh, that is the ideal um, way now on the Evo scan software the default is a percentage you can use the percentage but uh, the ideal method is to display in volts because the sweep of the throttle position sensor is 0 to 5 volts so now if you want it on volts just right click on this line edit data items this will pop up and uh, what you're going to be changing here is basically just the eval line uh, that's going to read lowercase x asterisk 5 forward slash 255 that will change the uh, output of that data line from a percentage to voltage. If you're more comfortable with the percentage, then that's fine, but um, voltage is the ideal one. So you're going to need a few things to set your base idle. So a couple tools. Um, you're going to need a screwdriver that you can get in sort of behind the throttle position sensor. Um, you're also going to need a shorty screwdriver for the uh, base idle set screw which is basically a bleeder screw. So the two spots that we're going to be focusing on on the throttle body which is over here is the throttle position sensor which is over here and the base idle set screw, which is right here. So, first thing, the first thing that we're gonna set is the sweep of the throttle position sensor. So that sensor reads between zero and five volts, but ultimately in uh, Evo land, your base voltage the base voltage that you're going to shoot for is going to be between 0.68 and 0.72. Now, wide open throttle, uh, don't expect it to be 100%. Don't expect it to be 5 volts, right? But it should be 4.5 volts or better. Uh, if not, then you the computer, uh, your ECU is not going to be getting the correct information for wide open throttle. So. At the base, you need to set it to 0.68 to 
Okay, so what you're going to do to be able to see that is you're going to start the data logger. What that's going to do is have live information coming through here. You'll be able to see your engine RPM. Uh, you'll also be able to see your TPS, which is the important one. So now on the TPS, you're going to be able to see the reading in volts right here. So now, while the car is idling, what you need to do is manipulate the TPS. So the TPS has two screws on it. You have to loosen those off. Don't loosen them off too much, but loosen them off enough so that you can rotate the TPS. Now, as you rotate the TPS up and down, you'll be able to walk over to your reading and you're going to want it to be uh, between those numbers I referenced earlier, the 0.68 to 0.72. So let's fire up the car and see where we're at. Okay, so the car is running. I'm gonna go up to uh, start data logger. Okay, so it's logging. Now we can see our numbers. So at the reading, you can see that the engine RPM is 1600 RPMs. That's way too high. But our TPS reading is at 0.68, so it's in the right position. If we move the TPS, that number will change. So let's go move it just to see. Okay, so I moved the TPS a little bit clockwise. And you can see here that we are back at 0.62. Heading back to the TPS. Okay, I pushed it down counterclockwise. Now we're at 0.64, we need to go up a little bit more. Okay, that might have been a little too much, but let's take a look. Okay, we're up at 0.74, that was too much. <laughs> Point 0.72. Six, six. Just need a touch counterclockwise. Point six eight. Okay, so that's bang on. Okay, so you can see that that TPS is very, very delicate. So when you get it in position, the idea now will be to tighten it down. Okay, so. Get in here with a uh, screwdriver.
Okay, so after you've got the throttle position sensor tightened down and that voltage is bang on, or as close as you can get it, between that 0.68 and 0.72, um, the next step is to set the your kind of your fine idle. And that's going to be with the base idle set screw. So this should be done with the engine warm. So it can't be um, up at you know 1200 rpms on the uh, on its uh, warm-up cycle um, so make sure that the um, car has gone through its warm-up phase and drop back down to um, at least a lower rpm of some sort so um, if your idle is jacked way up and you're unsure about whether it's gone through its warm-up cycle um, take a look on Evo scan at the um, the uh, coolant temperature sensor and you'll be able to get an idea of whether it's it's uh, idled down or supposed to have idled down by the temperature so now the base idle set screw is located uh, right here on top of the throttle body what you want to do is have it backed out okay not super far but keep in mind that this set screw um, is able to accommodate approximately 15 turns so back it out a bunch of turns and what you're going to be aiming for on a warm engine is somewhere between 850 to 950 RPMs. That's normally what these uh, Evos idle at. So at this point, what you'd be doing is you want to uh, lock the stepper motor in the throttle body. Now to do that, you're gonna go back to EvoScan. Okay, you're gonna go under under actuators, the bottom corner there, and then you're going to see speed adjustment screw mode. Okay, so that mode locks the stepper motor in the throttle body. So that base idle set screw needs to be adjusted with that locked so that the stepper has enough range then to uh, operate properly. So um, from what I've read, the stepper motor, um, if you do are able to uh, locate a number of steps on EvoScan, which I, I think you can, however, I don't know where it is. Um, it's supposed to be at seven to eight steps um, as, as a base. So, um, but uh, for myself, uh, as long as that um, throttle position sensor is locked in at the proper voltage, this part should be fairly simple. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fi fire the car up again. Okay, go to speed adjust screw mode. So, successful. So, while that's locked. Okay, so we got the uh, screw adjusting mode. Now, we're gonna be at approximately uh, 1400 RPMs. Okay, so let's crank this down. So by turning it clockwise, it's cranking the RPMs down. 
Okay, so now we're down to about 1100. Okay, now we're down to about 950. Um, I'm okay with it at there. So, you go back to EvoScan and uh, we're gonna lock it in by canceling the speed adjust screw mode. Okay, so here we are at about 950. Okay, and that's it. So that's that's the base idle. That's where it's set. Okay, so just a uh, quick point here. Um, so when you are adjusting the base idle set screw, uh, just use the tack in the car for RPMs. You can't uh, log and use the diagnostic section of EvoScan at the same time. So you can't look at the electronically displayed RPM um, and have the uh, stepper motor uh, in the idle air control locked with EvoScan, you can't do it at the same time. So just use the tack on the car. Um, and if you're unsure and you want to see what um, the ECU is seeing for RPM, if you're if you're really that concerned, um, then after you've um, locked the stepper motor, you've adjusted the base idle set screw, then just go back and run a log again if you wanna see what the RPM is. Um, but it should be very, very close to what it's supposed to be, especially if your um, uh, throttle position sensor has been set up voltage-wise. So, so that's it. Um, now, if for whatever reason uh, this still isn't working out, um, after setting all those parameters, maybe the idle is still hunting a little bit, then you'd want to do the ECU relearn procedure. Um, uh, which is just basically cutting the power to the ECU, um, turning it on, having it run for about five minutes with all electrical accessories off, including air conditioning, heater, all that stuff off, and then running it for five minutes with all accessories on, lights, air conditioner, putting the engine under load, and uh, then taking it for a drive for five or 10 minutes. And that should help the ECU level off and it should help your idle. So yeah. All right, so that's the episode for today. I hope you guys liked it. Um, make sure that you share and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to make sure that you get notifications when I put up a new video. And uh, check me out on Instagram at Wrench Rampage. Have a good night.